Hi Ranch Fam, this is Jima. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. What I'm bringing you guys today is a huge glitch and again it is a game changer. So please watch this till the end. Now I have been mentioning to you all that I get my cash back on items that I have utilized a coupon on. And when I say cash back, I mean the DG cash back on our accounts. I'm not talking about Shopmium for this video. This is DG cash back that are offered to us alongside our Dollar General digital coupons that we receive, okay? Now, I have mentioned, like I say in the past, you know, go get this product, utilize your $1 digital coupon, and you're gonna and have your cash back offer clipped of $1, and you will get your cash back because that's how it's working for me. I would get messages, Jima, it's not working for me. Um, and then others, it worked for me. And I was like, why, what's going on with the DG app that only some of us are getting the cash back when we utilize our coupons and others aren't? Okay, well, the DG employee that I work with very closely went from a new system store to an old system store. At the new system store, she mentioned that cash back offers do not attach when you utilize a digital coupon. Why? Because she was a shopper there and it would never work. Well, when she went to the old system store, apparently she got to talking with a couponer and it was not me that, um, the couponer was telling her, well, I get my cash back. That's weird. And so the DG employee and myself, we were talking and we're like, well, let me go try at a new system store because I tend to shop at an old system store just for the mere fact that there's overage, the glitches, you know, things just seem to work better. And again, I like the old system store. So, uh, you know, for whatever reason, but I told her, let me go to a new system store get a product that I utilize a coupon on and see if I get my cash back. Well, I didn't, okay, didn't. I waited two, three days, nothing. And I thought, okay, it's not gonna happen. So I went back to my old system store, got the same product, utilized the same coupons. How did I do that? Because I have multiple accounts, okay? It's not like I used the same coupons and the same telephone number at the old system store. But I did make sure that I got the same product with that digital coupon that I tried utilizing at the new system store and I clipped the cash back. At the old system store, no more did I get in my vehicle like it's always worked for me and I got my cash back. So cash back offers that are on our app are working at the old system stores. It is glitching at the old system store, even if you utilize a digital coupon. Now the new system stores, the cash back offer will not work if you're utilizing a digital coupon. Now I wanna go over some of this in with showing you some coupons, okay? And this is what you wanna look out for, whether you're at an old system store or a new system store. Now the first coupon we're gonna look at is on the Bounty, okay? If you see there, I have a $2 digital coupon clipped, a $1 digital coupon clipped, and the $4 coupon. At an old system store, my $4 earn cash back will be given to me when I buy the qualifying product, and my $1 digital coupon is gonna come off because Dollar General takes the lower value manufacturer coupon off first. So at an old system store, as long as I buy the qualifying product, I will get $1 off at the register, pay my out of pocket and receive $4 cash back. Okay. Now, if you're at a new system store, what I would recommend, if you do not have your $2 digital coupon clipped, nor do you have your $1 digital coupon clipped, that's fine. Just clip your cash back one because that's $4. Do not utilize a manufacturer coupon for that deal 
and only request the earn cash back. Now that's gonna be more out of pocket at the register, but you get $4 back opposed to utilizing a $2 manufacturer coupon or a $1 manufacturer coupon. Do you guys see where I'm going with that? Maximum value for new system or self-checkouts would only be the cash back offer of $4. You're gonna pay that little bit extra at the register, but get $4 back, which is a savings of $4, opposed to utilizing one of the manufacturer coupons. Okay, the same thing is gonna go for these. This Huggies, $6, attaches to the 150 at an old system store. Now you gotta clip, uh, I'm sorry, you gotta click on this right here. When you see this like this, click on it or touch it, and it's gonna give you all the qualifying items at the bottom of that. And that qualifying item, you wanna touch whatever item it is that you want to pick up. And when I say touch, I mean click, you know, on the item that you wanna pick up and make sure that both of these coupons are attaching to that one item. I hope I'm not losing you guys on that, but you wanna make sure that both of them are attaching at a new, at, I'm sorry, at an old system store. Now at a new system store, if you look at this and you wanna save $6 opposed to the 150, do not clip the 150, get the qualifying item for your cash back and earn $6, okay? At a new system store, that would be to your benefit, earning $6 and passing up the $1.50 manufacturer coupon. That's what, $4.50 more in savings. Again, you're not gonna save that $1.50 at the register with that manufacturer coupon, but you will get $6 back on your account. And the same thing for this one here, Ranch Fam, we have a $3 and a $1.50. Again, when it comes to cash back, you wanna click on this, it'll give you your qualifying items, get the qualifying item that matches both of these at an old system store. You're gonna save 150 at the register and get $3 cash back. And new system stores, if it's only one product that you need to pick up, that's why you gotta click on the cash back. Sometimes it says must purchase two and all of that good stuff. So click on that and if it's only one that you need to purchase, I would not click the Huggies manufacturer coupon of $1.50 and click the cash back because you're getting an additional $1.50 in savings opposed to using the manufacturer coupon. Okay, I know there's a lot of work into that, but Ranch Fam, you save more money that way. Now I'm just gonna show you a few more. Like this here on the Progresso Soup, there is a Dollar General store offer of two for $4. The manufacturer coupon, $1 off of four, so you know you gotta pick up four. And the cash back, once you click on it, it's gonna tell you must purchase four or whatever it is. And at an old system store, all of these will stack as long as you purchase the qualifying item and the qualifying amount, okay? New system store, again, depending on what the cash back offer is, if you have to purchase three or four or whatever it is, then you, again, it, you're gonna have to decide if the manufacturer coupon is better or the cash back offer. And brings us to the old El Paso. At the old system store, all three of these will stack. The top one, save a dollar on three, is a manufacturer coupon. The Dollar General Store coupon, a save one dollar when you purchase six dollars worth. So as long as you hit that six dollar threshold on qualifying items and your cash back is earn $1. All of those will attach as long as you follow all of the criterias to have all three of those come off of your account. So you're earning an extra dollar with the DG cash back at an old system store. And here's another one, Ranch Fam. I just wanna show you these ones are available to us. There's a cash back offer of $1. I should have clipped that save $1 on two up at the top, manufacturer coupon. And there's also an in-store offer of two for six. Okay, so there, I mean, you really gotta look at your stuff. Now, if you scan the products that you guys are interested in, I'm just gonna show these as I'm talking. These are for these products here. Now, if you scan your product when you're in the store and all of these attach at the bottom, then you know that that product has a cash back offer, a manufacturer coupon, an in-store offer, a Dollar General store coupon, because it's all gonna show at the bottom of that product that you just scanned. And if that's the case, 
Again, old system stores, make sure you uh, click on the cashback offer to get that and your manufacturer coupon. The new system stores or self-checkout, you want to only click the highest savings possible. Okay? So again, do you want to save at the register 50 cents or would you rather pay the 50 cents out of pocket and know you're going to get a dollar cash back on your account to spend at another time? Same thing for this here, the Purex crystals earn $1.25 and we have a $1.25 digital coupon. Old system store, those will stack. At a new system store, if you want to spend that $1.25 on maybe some all or snuggle dryer sheets, but you still want the Purex crystals, you would still be able to do that because you still have that $1.25 cashback offer. You'll just have to pay for your Purex crystals in full at the register, but know that you're going to get $1.25 back onto your DG cash. Same on the pull-ups are two for 21. We have the pull-ups $2 uh, cash back and $1.50 digital coupon. Okay, so again, old system store, they are attaching with, when I say they, cash back offers are attaching to your digital coupon. New system stores, it doesn't work that way. So you're going to want to be selective on which ones you clip, either the manufacturer coupon or the cash back offer. This is a good one right here on the Allegra, Children's Allegra, I want to say runs 1050. Old system store, you can get pay, save $5 at the register and earn $4 back. New system store, you may want to clip, I mean, always clip the cash back because if it glitches, at least you have it clipped. But the Allegra $5 digital coupon will come off, which is the greater savings anyways for this deal. Okay, I consider the, this a huge glitch, Ranch Fam, for old system stores. Again, I want to thank the DG employee that uh, helped me figure this out because I come to you guys and I'm telling you, well, I'm getting my cash back and I'm not sure why you're not. So when she went from a new system to an old system, we calculated it. I went in and tried it at the new system store. It did not work. Old system, it did. So it's an old system glitch. Okay, here's the Tide cash back, a dollar. Down at the bottom, cash, earn, uh, cash back, and 50 cents for the manufacturer coupon. Old system store, clip them both. New system store, you either, you gotta decide, you wanna save 50 cents at the register or for go, uh, pass that 50 cent coupon, do not clip it, and get a dollar earned cash back on your account. Okay, you say you're going to pay full price for the product at the register, but you're going to get a dollar savings opposed to that 50 cent savings that if you utilize the manufacturer coupon. And that's just a decision that you'll have to make. You know, if you want less out of pocket at the register, you might want to go with the manufacturer coupon. And here it is again. We've got a cash back offer down at the bottom at 50 cents and it attaches to all those coupons. So if you get the qualifying product, it's going to show like this and you're gonna to wanna to clip on the higher value coupon only and your cash back offer. Now, you know, a question might be, well, why do we clip on Sundays? Because we don't know. I still say let's clip coupons on Sundays, but this is just something that you gotta keep your eyes open for uh, when it comes to old systems. Okay, here's another one. There's an in-store offer, two for six. There's a cash back 50 cents and a dollar off of two. So again, there you go for an old system store. And Ranch Fam, if you want to know how DG Cashback works, please go back and view this video here. It is from last year. You can see up at the top, it's the year of 2023 and it's video number 407. This is my DG Cashback 101 video. Again, lots of information on here. But Ranch Fam, I do want to let you know this is a huge glitch. And again, at old system stores, your cashback offers from your DG uh, digital coupon section are stacking with manufacturer coupons. And at an old system store, just keep in mind, if your cashback offer is greater than the manufacturer coupon, maybe you don't want to clip the manufacturer coupon. Again, you want to pay less out of pocket at the register or earn more cash back and pay that little bit extra at the register. That's just a call that you'll have to make. 
Any comments or questions on this huge glitch, please leave it down below or you can send me an email. Our email address is in the description box of every video that we upload. And again, I wanna give a big shout out to the DG employee that helped me figure this out. Again, because it was working for me and not others, I just wanted to see why. What am I doing different? Is it because we're purchasing different products? No, it's because one was at an old system store and one was at a new system store. Please give this video a big thumbs up, share it with family and friends so we can all benefit from these savings. This is Jima. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share this video. We'll talk to you soon.